My name is Julie Williams. I'm from Mansfield, Texas, and I have my bachelor's degree in animal science. I'm currently pursuing a master's degree in general agriculture studying gray horse melanoma at SFA's Arthur Temple College of Forestry and Agriculture. Many cancers in humans are treated with chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, and in the past couple of decades, we have been able to successfully apply those techniques for the treatment of equine cancer. With the increasing popularity of the gray horse phenotype, we are also seeing an increase of melanoma in these horses. Generally, 80% of gray horses will have developed melanoma by the age of 15. They are born in a variety of colors and gradually gray with age. This graying with age occurs with a high incidence of melanoma. Understanding the genetic factors that cause this is the first step in being able to reduce the proliferation and development of this disease. Studies have shown that human malignant melanoma and gray horse melanoma share a series of common features. Inherited genetic variations affect risk and development in human melanoma and due to the similarities between human and gray horse melanoma, genetic variations may also be present in gray horse melanoma. The melanocortin-1 receptor, MC1R gene, regulates the type of melanin produced in mammals. And this is either um, eumelanin, which is black, brown, or faux melanin, which is red-yellow pigmentation. Um, modifications of this gene have shown have, or have been associated with a high risk of melanoma in humans. And I'm hoping to learn that if there are any genetic modifications to the MC1R gene that could attribute to the high risk of melanoma in gray horses. In order to examine the MC1R gene for mutations, standard PCR or polymerase chain reaction techniques are performed on DNA extracted from whole blood samples from both gray and non-gray horses to amplify the gene to be sequenced. Primers, which are essentially uh, small DNA fragments, um, have been designed to complement the target region of the DNA that we are trying to amplify. The DNA products generated from the primers are used as a template in replication, setting in motion a chain reaction in which the template DNA is increased exponentially. The DNA generated by the primers will serve as a template in replication, setting in motion a chain reaction in which the template DNA is amplified exponentially. The resulting products are then run through a gel to verify fragment size. Once that fragment size is verified, we can send it off to be sequenced. The capability of identifying variants of the MC1R gene would provide identification and early detection um, of horses at risk for melanoma development, which in turn would provide better treatment options for diagnosed horses. Information such as this is vital in order to help reduce and control the proliferation of this disease. Understanding the signaling mechanisms in both horse and humans could provide new methods of detection and better treatment options for both species.